And if we have a look at how it's built, we zoom right out, it's really tall. I wonder if this is taller than any of your Lego creations. But on the back of the castle, you can see inside and each of these different rooms represents a different Disney film. So my challenge to you today is to say, can you guess what each of the different rooms represents? Which film is each of these rooms from? Let's start at the top of the castle. Can you see what we've got here? There's an oval piece of Lego that's got a shiny middle. That's a mirror, a magic mirror. And just below it, we've got what looks like an apple wrapped up in a spotty handkerchief. Do you know which Disney film has a magic mirror and an apple? A poisoned apple, maybe. Did you guess? That's right, it's Snow White. So let's make our way down the castle now. Below this room, there's another room and it's got a different set of Disney film bits and pieces in it. You can just see the top there, see the fireworks pointing out of that window. You can fire those fireworks when you get this Lego. But in this chest here, we've got a pair of scissors and we've got a hairbrush. Now, which Disney film, which fairy tale needs scissors and a hairbrush? Who gets locked up in the tower and can only get down using her magic hair? That's right, it's Rapunzel and the film is tangled. So let's move down. There's a room just below our tangled chest with the hairbrush and the scissors. We're just coming down to see the top of it now. You can see a bed chamber there, but we're going to go past the bed chamber, past the purple floor, and down here. So can you see what that is? Is it a cart? It's a cart wheel, and it's being used in a spinning wheel. Now, which Disney film has a spinning wheel. Shall I give you a clue? The princess in the film is Princess Aurora. Do you remember she pricked herself and she fell asleep? That's a big clue there. Of course it's Sleeping Beauty. Now we're going to carry on down but can you see as we're going past there's a little clue, that little blue hat poking out that chest just on the right. We'll come back to that but be thinking which Disney films have a blue wizard's hat in them. But we're going to go down past the brickwork, past the arch, and you can see the top of a kitchen, kitchen worktop here, and a fireplace. There's no fire burning at the moment, but there is a broom here on the wall, and there's some knives, and there's some chopping, and lots of ash and cinders to clean up, and a pumpkin. Which Disney film has a pumpkin and a broom and a fireplace to clean? The pumpkin turns into a beautiful chariot to take her to the ball. Do you know what the film is? It's Cinderella. So let's move back up our castle. As we do, you can see there's a candelabra with candles in it. That's a clue. We'll come back down to that room a bit later. You can also see some windows and some curtains down there but we're going to go up to this room that we passed just before and we've got a wizard's hat we've got a, a mop we've got a bucket and we've got a chest do you know which Disney film now I think this is a more difficult one it's a bit of an older one do you know which Disney film has these different things in it a mop and a bucket of course, it's Fantasia. And now we're going to go back down to that big room at the bottom that we saw early on. There's lots and lots of things in here. So keep your eyes peeled and see which Disney film these things remind you of. Now, first off, we're going to see the top of that candelabra and the candles in it. We're going to see the rich royal curtains. But here's a big clue. A rose under a glass dome. True love's kiss is needed to save the rose before the petals fall. Do you know which Disney film that's from? Of course it's Belle is the princess and the film 
is Beauty and the Beast. Did you get it? But let's move on over here to the left. There's another little bit of this room that we spotted early on. It took us a while to realise which film this was referencing. The clever Lego designers have snuck in loads and loads of film references. And it took us a while to get this one. So see how quickly you can get this. We're going to go down. There's more candelabras. Flames glowing there to light our way. And over here, next to that suit of armour, past the flowers, is a big, rich Arabian rug on the wall. And below it is a gold lamp. Now, which film has a big Arabian carpet and a gold lamp in it? Do you remember any Disney films that have a flying carpet? There's a clue. And of course a lamp. The princess is Princess Jasmine. And the film <laughs> is Aladdin. Now we spotted one more film. There's a few more to go. Through this window, if we just bring this up, you can see a target, a shooting target. And if we just pan down, you see all the studded Lego bricks. You can see the yellow dot in the middle to represent the bullseye. Now, which Disney films have arrows? I thought it might be Robin Hood, but no, that's not it. You can see a bow here. And you can also see what I think are some cakes. So which Disney film has cakes, a bow, and a target? Can you guess what it is? Well, the princess is Merida. And the film, of course, is Brave. Did you get it? Now, right at the top, we've spotted one more. So here, can you see what this is? It took us a while to realise what was in this little box. And of course, it's a little tiny, teeny, tiny Lego glass slipper that you could fit on one of the minifigures. But which Disney film has a glass slipper? It's one we've already mentioned. With the pumpkin and the fire. Remember when she goes to the ball, she leaves behind one glass slipper. Do you know who that is? It's Cinderella. Back on the front of the castle, we have got one final Disney film left for you to spot. Can you see it? Tiny green little patch there at the bottom of the castle walls. For a while, I thought it was just some moss, but if we get in closer and closer and closer, you can see a couple of frogs and a crown. Now, which Disney film has frogs and princes and princesses in it? Do you know the princess? The princess is Tiana. And the film is the princess and the frog. Do you get that one? So there you go. That is the Lego Cinderella Castle. 4,000 pieces or so. It's out in shops in September. It's quite expensive. It might be a special Christmas present <laughs> rather than just pocket money. And we saw Mirror and the Apple from Snow White. We saw the sewing machine from Sleeping Beauty. We spotted the scissors and the comb from Tangled. We spotted the bow and the cakes from Brave. The broomstick and the pumpkin and the slipper from Cinderella. The candlestick and the rose from Beauty and the Beast. The flying carpet and the genie from Aladdin the frogs and the crowns from the princess and the frog. All those Disney films and princesses all included in this set. It took us a long time to spot them all. I wonder how you did. Do let us know in the comments how you got on. Did you spot them all before us?